Just one week after Meta gave us Llama 3, Apple has just quietly released eight new fully open source language models to their hugging face. Apple didn't just pull a Zuckerberg and open source their pre-trained models. These eight models are open weight, open training material, and open source code, meaning actually open source AI in 2024 from the last company we expected it. In this video, we will go over what the Apple developers are telling us about the open ELM models and how you can start using these models today. Then I'll give you a soft software developer's perspective on what Apple entering the open source generative AI space means for the future of AI as a whole. In a world with 70 billion parameter and far bigger large language models being released every week, why would Apple release models ranging from 270 million to 3 billion parameters? Apple developed these models with the goal of being able to democratize large language models and make them able to run on all of our mobile devices. The developers of Open ELM are claiming they're able to achieve a 2.36% improvement in accuracy over OLMO with half as many pre-training tokens. The most rational fear of AI to have in 2024 is when it becomes AGI, only a small handful of humans understanding its code. Apple using their big bankroll to contribute open source language models gives us small guys a chance at making AI a positive thing for us and not just the elites. Let's run a quick demo of Open ELM's 3B Instruct model in Google. Google Collab. This is just a simple Python program for prompting the language model and printing the output. This demo will not be a speed test as I am just running the pre-trained unquantized models for the sake of testing the output quality of a small language model. These first few prompts with my system message seem to give me as high quality of response as I would expect paying for Gemini, Claude, or even ChatGPT4. You'll see it as a creative structure to each response even attempting to create a YouTube curriculum to learn to code. While the links do not work because Apple seemingly broke some of the links in their training set, the curriculum it created was impressively accurate to my prompt. Instead of just leaving you with the highlight reel of my testing, let's see how easy it is to break open ELM by simply removing the system message. This is what I would see when first prompting open ELM, so thank me later for that simple system prompt. This inability to perform without a system message, and as you may find, inability to respond correctly to complex system messages does show some limitations with open ELM. Another weakness of these models is when your prompt doesn't have training data relevant to responding. The model will hallucinate very badly. What this means is for AI consumers looking for the next best model, open ELM currently is not where you want to look. What these tests do show me, however, is that open ELM has the strength to generate creative, logical and correct responses to prompts that it has training data to respond to. This means Open ELM holds a ton of potential for developers looking to build highly niche language models to outperform large language models by fine-tuning these Open ELM models and even training our own entirely new models on the Open ELM architecture. Imagine instead of just having Mixtral to run on a consumer GPU, we have a mixture of 3 billion parameter experts capable of running on any iPhone. That day is coming sooner than most of us realize.